What is a god? A creator of worlds, a ruler of his own universe. A higher spirit worshipped by millions for having power over nature and humanity. He pauses and smirks. We're not believers in higher spirits or interested in the vanity of worship. We are realists, believers in and molders of reality. Let us not forget that it is man who creates rule. It is man that creates destiny. And it is man who holds the real power over nature and humanity. It's the men who are sat around this table today, and the men who have graced this table before us, that have changed the course of humanity. We are equals. We are the new gods. Johnson gazes out on the field again at the family laughing and playing. Johnson's mum kneels closer. Grieving is like a book. Some of us pick it up and read through it quickly. Some pick it up, then put it down, choosing to read it later. And some, she places her hand on Johnson's shoulder, can't put it down. They just don't want it to end. She looks at her mom. I'm frightened. Frightened if I stop thinking about him, he'll disappear forever. Tears begin to gently roll down her cheeks. This sadness is all I have left. Nate will never leave you. He will always be with you. He'll be there when you are having a bad day and smiling with you in your happiest moments. Johnson turns and falls gently into her mom's arms and stays for a long moment, resting her head on her shoulder. The darkness is terrifying. All that lies ahead of her in the gloom is silence. Johnson takes a deep breath and steps forward onto what seems like a graded metal surface. As she steps forward, the metal pathway ahead of her lights up. Either side of the pathway is a metal handrail. The lights that illuminate the pathway are low and do little to help Johnson gain perspective of her surroundings. She scans the immediate area and notices a fluorescent sign for a fire hydrant to her right, the other side of the handrail. There must be a surface to walk on down there, she thinks. She continues down the path, holding onto the rail until the handrail seems to turn. She notices that there are paths leading both left and right off of the main pathway. She thinks for a moment and looks for any clue to an exit. Which way? This could be a way out, I guess. She chooses to turn right. As she steps onto the metal pathway, it lights up ahead of her for about 12 meters. And at the end of the route, she spots a door. Her pace quickens, and as she gets closer, she notices that the door is at the center of a large container-like structure. The white ribbed building measures around 12 meters in length and three meters high with no windows.